this is Phantom Master 36 once again, bringing you another inbox review. This time regarding Dragon's Panzer Camp Dragon 4 Ops B. Uh, Mit Schneerammer System Schmidt. Mess my best German. I'm pretty sure that means a snowplow. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. I don't know what System Schmidt means, but I'm good. That's probably Sneer. Uh, sorry, Snow Rammer. That's a snowplow. Uh, so I got this kit not too long ago. I have not yet even opened it. I just took the plastic off. And first impressions are it's the same size and uh, like a, a size and width of a box, but it's a lot taller, as you can see. Maybe an inch taller. So, I don't know if it's going to be extra detail in there. Just looking at the back of the box, you can tell that there's number of parts in this kit. It's got a uh, complete inside of the turret. Okay, I'll explain some of the extra parts. And along here, lots of details. Uh, down here at the exhaust, you got like photo wedge chain thingies right over there. Uh, photo which for the wheels, photo which handles for tow rope. Uh, brass ammo if you go over to here. And pieces of photo which for the jerry cans. So it looks like it's going to be a big build. Okay, let's open this up. Let's take it. Box art's pretty good, I like it, uh, but once again, no figures in this kit, I'm quite certain. Dragon don't usually put figures in their kits unless it's one of those uh, cyber hobby kits that's like a bonus pack. Oh, come on. Is there more tape? There we go. Some of these boxes are really tight. Alright. So we got here. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, lots of detail. Okay, so we have I'll zoom you in here. We have these, which I'm gonna guess is the outside of the wheels. So it's like it's not rubber, but it's got a rubber textured on it. Yeah, and it's um it'll probably make it easier for painting in better detail. We've got a brass gun that goes like all the way back to the breech, I think. You know, something like that. And a couple of uh, brass shells and some handles there. <laughs> up here we have clear parts and some uh, metal tow cable stuff. And up here we have these, which look like the uh, rear drives, uh, the rear idler wheels. Those look nicely detailed. Photo watch here, probably for them too. And another bunch of photo watch. Uh, behind that for like various parts along the hull and stuff. I don't know. Um, that was more people photo watch here. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of. <laughs> look at all that. It's all tiny little bits there. Those are all going to be like clamps and uh, things for holding down tools and stuff. Yeah. And we have, looks like, two decal options. Alright. So first screw here, uh, we got hull, uh, not, sorry, a uh, turret, and the bottom of the turret here, lots of parts, these look really nicely molded, do not see any flash, no seam lines on any of the, um, on any of these uh, small ramparts, I'll zoom you in on some of this, hold on. This part right here, you can see the beautiful, I'm sorry, uh, the welt seams on that. Hopefully, you'll be able to see them on the edges there. Nope, nope. Nice welt seams. Okay, uh, this screwed some various uh, parts all around the upper hull fenders and stuff like that. That's fine. 
Here we have um, more fenders, more upper hull parts. These look different. This is the Panzer IV. Okay, so I guess these are just different uh, side plate, hull plates for different versions. So we got uh, three sets of them so far. And wheels, and um, here to be parts of the exhaust and like armor plates and stuff, you know. Uh, looks really nice. Here, I'll zoom in on this again. On the wheels, if it'll focus, which it probably won't. Oh, there we go. It's too close I get you in there. There's really nice detail on the wheels. Alright, you can see that. Well, now you can't, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, more clear parts. Oh my god, that is. Those are like. <laughs> Look at the size of some of these pieces of. Uh, clear, these clear bits. They're tiny. They're like the size of like plastic uh, grab irons, stuff like that. You know, they'll handle things, but they're made of clear parts. I'm not sure where these things go. Look at those are periscopes right there. The outside of the periscope. There's gonna be a clear part for the periscope too. Okay, that's that's detailed. So here we got some magic tracks. Typical, lots of them, probably like 99 per side I think. Uh, dark gray, light gray for other side. You look fine. Mm -hmm. They have, yeah, they have a bit of a ejector pin raised uh, marks on them, but not not very prominent. You can actually just probably leave them and get away with it. Alright, lower hull here. Oops, sorry. Hopefully you can see the nice rivets so you can see them all the way along the side there. That looks good. Same thing on the bottom too. Alright, um, this looks like, yeah, snow plow. It's the Schneer Rammer. So it looks very nice. It's a thin, curved piece. I can zoom in on the, uh, actual part there. You can see it once again. There's really nice detail on them. I do not see any flash, any burring on any of the parts here. Or none of those bubbles that I was getting on some of the kits. And also the sprue underneath here seems to be the front of the hull plate, right there. And the gun mantlet. Yep. And the turret floor, and some small bits, like a, the antenna protector, whatever it is. The thing that you see under the gun, like a, just to whack the antenna over, bend it down. Alright, so we got more fenders here. How many fenders are we going to get? These ones look, I don't know, maybe these are the ones we'll be using. They are packaged separately, so I guess they are. So, zoom you in. You can see this very nice tread pattern on them. All the way along. And uh, we got the tow um, cable ends there. They look fine. And the other side we got jerry cans. So we got three of them. And we have tools over here, like we got like wrenches and shovels and barrel cleaning things. All the way along there. Looks, mine's a lot of them, so hopefully I have some extras. Another screw here. This one has, ooh, that's the, that's the cupola. That's all parts for the cupola. That's the top of the cupola. And we got drive sprockets and other parts like that here. I mean, on these, these are nice. Just this little sprue here. It's got all these little tiny bits for the viewports and the hatches there. And those all go along the outside. They look, uh, they're going to be a little bit of a pain to sand down. But it should look really nice when, it, when I'm all finished building this. <coughs> Alright. Now we have the, uh, let me zoom you here. This is all the ends of the road wheels, and this here appears to be, I don't know, those are part of the suspension too, yep. 
Uh, and then this is all the wheels and the suspension arms and stuff. So you can see along here. Um, looks incredibly detailed, more detailed than the other parts of I was building. Some of these parts were like as one, so that's gonna be big build. And finally, we get to the instructions all the way at the bottom. Yeah, you can see that there's a lot of parts not being used. As a uh, they probably just reuse a bunch of screws because there's so many different versions of the Panzer IV. Yep. Well, apparently we're using two sets of fenders. Well, those aren't crossed out, and neither are those. Maybe it's an option. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> that looks like a lot of parts. Alright, yeah, got extra parts there are like extra parts for the wheels but I guess I could paint those separately and then put them on so it'd be a lot easier uh, the parts for the uh, rubber and the road wheels tow, cab tow cable options I'm not going to use the snow plow right, here we go three decal options we got unidentified unit of course it always has to be there always has to be one of those you know and uh, eighth Panzer regiment uh, I don't know, 8th eight, Panda Division, I, I don't know, lots of numbers and slashes, but I guess. 1st Panda Division, Poland 1939, let's go with that. And 1st Panda Division, France 1940. So these two are without the snowplow, and that one, the, uh, the unidentified one, is with the snowplow. I am not going to be using the snowplow, I'm not going to be using one of these patterns. I have a special pattern for an SB used in Normandy in 1944. Uh, so I'll just roll with that. So we got a whole bunch of parts. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of them. And a lot of detailed parts. So yeah guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, maybe I'll probably do a review of the other Panzer IV, the uh, one with Zimrit, uh, soon. So thanks for watching guys, this is Panzer Master 36. Also have an update video of the, uh, I'm sorry, of the Cougar. Because uh, I'm almost done that, should I do the wheels? Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. It's Panda Watch 36. Goodbye.